Hello everyone, this is Natalie K. Lillico from Align With Your Design Coaching. And today we're going to um, take a look at what the Genius Report is. So let's get started with that. The Genius Report. What is it? So first of all, just a little, just to know, I am a certified Genius Report coach and trainer. There's my contact information. And if you would please subscribe to my channel, um, I would really appreciate that. And jumping in, what is the Genius Report? It's a profiling tool and it's used for professional use. Almost everyone's heard of the Myers-Briggs or other types of profiling tools. And it is something that reveals what our natural geniuses are, what our natural talents and gifts are. How it's different from other profiling tools is that it does not uh, compare an individual to any norms. You know, how do you score against, you know, the 60 other people that took this test or 600, whatever the number is. And it's really um, appreciated and loved by individuals just because the way that it is languaged and the way that it is presented, written in the first person. So as someone reads their chart, it's about them. It's personal. They, they identify with what they read. Um, it provides uh, analysis that cannot be ma manipulated. What I mean by that is many profiling tools are based on you answering questions are you most like that or are you least like that or how do you see yourself and those types of profiling tools though they are valuable they're really based on you know how we think and feel about ourselves and as we know we can feel and think about ourselves one way wonderfully one day and kind of mediocre the next so this is um, based on static information, which is your birth information. And the Genius Report comes from the human design system. And it was adapted for professional use in working in businesses. So the Genius Report helps us prepare for our future. As we know in our world, Many things are changing very, very quickly. People are having to uh, change what they do for a living, change how they contribute, change their companies. And we've all experienced what burnout is. So it's, this is a way to reinvent and restructure how you contribute in the world so that they're so that you have more energy and less of the burnout experience. And imagine children or young adults being able to have guidance according to who they are, their natural talents, you know, that they, they go to get the right kinds of training and get into the right departments and are nurtured according to their talents, not trying to fix any problems or shortcomings. It's a very effective tool for building effective teams and leaders. There is a, a big uh, section in the, the, the long report that goes into uh, leadership and how to develop yourself as a leader. And overall, it really is to help you create a solid foundation for yourself, for your businesses, the collective, it's just a more authentic and sustainable way for all of us to live when we are working within and contributing from our natural talents. So I mentioned just briefly, there's two types of ways that you can see your genius report. The first one's free, and that's the compact. I'll show you that in just a second. And also there is a 10 page report that's $40. US and that's approximate because there uh, it is an exchange with euro so it's about forty dollars so there is my genius report one example of this compact the one page that you can get for free and I'll tell you where you can go to get that 
And that's another person, a, a sample uh, genius report compact. So you can see that they don't look uh, alike. <laughs> One is much, has a lot more going on, and I'll explain what that means in my next video. And that's a, a sample of a page from the 10 page report, really focusing on people's specific talents and skills. So who is the genius report for? Well, anyone that's been on the human design journey or investigating the human design is gonna wanna know how does this relate in my business? I hear this all the time, whether you have your own business or changing your career, People want to know how to use human design, those that are um, into that, um, that are students of human design. If you're on the professional track within human design, you're going to be working with other professionals. You're going to want to have this tool in your toolbox. So when people ask you about how does that relate to my business, you can provide them with something that's very professional working, looking, and perhaps even work with a whole team of people. Uh, business coaches and consultants use this all over the world um, as a way to provide guidance to their clients. Human resource professionals, um, this is an excellent tool for really honing in on where people are best matched. And anyone that's uh, building a team, whether it's a new team, uh, there's so many new types of businesses and nonprofits and community support that's building. This is such a valuable tool to really position people where they're gonna be able to share their genius and not try to fit into a particular um, you know, job or position. And then anyone that really wants to know about themselves and how they can uh, improve their career or be more matched up with a better career. And overall, this is a tool primarily for professionals for how we are in the material world and how to do that authentically. So just a little bit about me. Let's see if we can move that. So just a little bit about me. Um, my background is I had over 20 years working in professional development with professional speakers and award-winning authors and providing uh, sales and marketing and coaching skills, which happens to be my skill set, luckily. And uh, so I worked many years in the actual personal professional development. I came into human design in 1999, over 20 years ago, and as I mentioned earlier, I, uh, my, my career in sales, I was, had to do profiling tools, you know, many different positions that I worked in just because it was an interest of mine. And uh, when I came across human design, I can remember as clear as it was yesterday that the first that I heard of my design, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing team building tool. Um, and that was with traditional human design. So, um, and then also, um, so kind of an early adapter. I was a first generation certified human design analyst. I'm one of the first, the first in the United States to be a genius report coach and trainer. And also I studied the gene keys early on in 2006. And so I guess you could say I'm an early adapter. Um, so I've been, this has been a study of mine for many years and, and use it with all my clients. So those of you that are in human design, let's just look at how does this, how does this pan out? How does this look? So on the left, you know, we're, you know we've seen this body graph. And, but when we transfer this information, again, the algorithms and the software do all of this. It takes this information and it produces 
different graphs and charts. We're going to look at those, but the main one is the body graph. So what's the body graph look like in the genius report? So you can see if you took um, the picture on the left to somebody in business or the picture on the right, there's just less resistance. The same information is there, but it's not as confusing. It's very simplified. And let's just go on and see what else. So um, what we're looking at is the force field. And the force field tells us about an individual. Where is their energy going out? Where are they affecting their environment, whether in people around them and where are they more receptive or observing or perceptual so when the the um little dots on the force field are pushing out they're more effectual when they're coming in the, the blue dots are closer to the center they are more that's where they're perceiving in those particular areas so the traditional human design, um, the different centers have been, the names have been altered for more of a professional understanding. For example, if you told someone in business, your Ajna is such and such, they may not know what that word is, but they certainly know what the word mind is. In another example is in traditional human design, the center that's off to the far left, that's the spleen. Um, but in the genius report, we call it intuition. So both are correct. It's just a, a way of languaging that makes it more accessible to people that are looking at it for a, a professional use. They may not necessarily want to study and go deep down the rabbit hole like I did in human design. It's a little bit farther above the rabbit hole, so to speak. So um, again, the, 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 this is where the body graph is. This is what it looks like in the genius report. All the centers that are over on the left side of the body graph, those are colored in in green. And when that energy moves up, it moves up for expression. The centers on the right side of the body or the, you know, even the, the drive or the root center, um, on the right side, those are moving up towards the throat. Those are more manifestations. Those have the energy. And if you know um, in human design, the willpower, the emotions, the, the life force, the drive, those are the four motors of the body. So those motors, you know, produce things. They um, can create manifestation versus expression. They're both needed. Just good to understand a little bit of a distinction in that. So again, like I said, people that when the, the dots are on the outside, that's where their energy is going out and it affects their environment, people around them. And when the dots are on the inside, that's where they're more of an observer or perceptive in those particular areas. So again, let's just look at this sample that we had up there. So you can see here, all right, so we talked about um, the mental inspiration is right here concepts and ideas the throat center so we're looking at a manifestor sample here so as you can see the throat center based on both the body graph and the force field that this is someone that has both uh, a lot of manifesting power initiating power affecting those around them, impacting those around them. The two centers that are open, so the head, or we call that here mental inspiration, the sacral is open, life force, those have close um, 
the dots are closer to the center. That's where this person is observing or perceiving, perceptual of those particular aspects of life. And there's mine. So you can see, as very obvious, okay, I've got three centers colored in. That's it. I've got nine open. So I'm someone who is very perceptive, very, you know, taking information in, um, recognizing things in a different way. I'll go more into that in the next video. Here, it's like when we work within what our talents are, and when we're recognized and contributing from our talents, we, we're happier, we're more fulfilled, we have more energy, more vitality, all the things that everybody wants um, when they're giving their energy. They want to feel fulfilled about that, about what they're contributing at the end of the day. So again, here's my contact information. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one coaching using either human design or the genius report, depends on what it is that your goal or objective is. And I'm also offering genius report group coaching and training. And again, if you haven't, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I just want to say thank you for listening in today. I hope that was helpful. Please leave your questions, your comments at the bottom. Um, this is one of the first videos on YouTube for the Genius Report. So I do hope that you'll pass it along to other people that may have been looking for it or are interested in this uh, subject. Thank you. Have a great day. This is Natalie K. Lillico signing off.